Well, um, I'm going to say what everyone is expecting me to say, which is you'll just have to wait. And uh, Keely and I were exchanging text today, and we're, we're, we're kind of enjoying the experience of winding everyone up. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to what the reaction will be on Sunday night. Did you know before you started writing what the ending would be? Um, yes, we... we um, had a kind of plan of doing uh, certain things over the course of the six hours and some things were were quite um, quite well defined and then other things mm -hmm. were, were open to more uh, interpretation and adjustment as we went forward which is kind of how I also uh, approach line of duty. I, I try not to plan too much in advance so that there is the room for the unexpected twist or turn. Well, it is so, uh, there are so many twists and turns, but I wondered if you sort of went all Hollywood and have shot two different endings. We didn't. Uh, we just didn't have the resources to do that. But also we were very confident that uh, our approach to it was the right one in terms of delivering on answers, answering some expectations, but also having quite a few but, surprises as well. Well, the, the first two episodes were particularly fast paced. And the, the idea that, that that happened very quickly before people settled into it, was that a deliberate thing to make this, you know, so much action in the first two before it settled down? Well, the, the programme kind of evolves over the series. The, the, the first two episodes were very action-packed and yeah. actually uh, what we have in the finale is more of a return to that. So uh -huh. it does go at a breakneck pace and, and there are quite a few stunts and thrills and spills. Um, but what we also knew was that, that going forward, we, have, we had to have who done it and why done it and how done it as uh, hooks for the audience. On Twitter, you've been pushing back against some of the grumps about, you know, well, that would a bodyguard operate like that, and would it be this person, would it be that person? Are you learning to take that in your stride? I don't mind people saying that it's drama and it's not meant to be realistic, but what we have going on is an editorial brief which is yeah. to go out and find people who criticize the show's accuracy and actually we went through a rigorous and meticulous process with lots of um, advisors who came with excellent credentials and what annoys me is when uh, a journalist goes and finds someone who doesn't have the right credentials mm -hmm. but enjoys having the platform of slagging off the program uh, and so I just wanted to set the record straight about that. I can't decide whether there's a niggle or you're about to resolve it. The security services would have known that David Budd and the shooter were in the same battalion. Or are we about to find that out? Um, uh, well, that's, that's something that was planted in the, the series uh -huh. and it has taken a considerable time to uh, resolve that story. But no, I don't think that they, they would have known that immediately because it, it required investigation and cross-checking and actually although um, there's, there's a thought that they were in the same battalion they weren't I don't know where that's come from they simply served together in a very big war at the same time but they were in different regiments just overall in terms of uh, the, the characters and uh, their motivation do you think you've actually sometimes got quite a jaundiced view of mankind I don't think it's that so much, Kirsty, as more that the characters have, um, have th an element of darkness in them yeah. that means that, that they're challenged maybe sometimes to do things that aren't ethical, that, that for a, their own self-interest they take um, unethical steps. And that's something that uh, I, I think you just have to find a way to make mm. that believable, to believe that the pressures on a person are such that they they don't always do the the thing that they would would normally choose to do if they were behaving uh, to the highest standards. You're back making line of duty. You're in Belfast. Um, we didn't expect a new line of duty, did we? Well, with with line of duty, yeah, we're we're shooting um, series five now, and series six has been commissioned, which we're going to shoot hopefully in the next couple of years. So. Um, yeah, Line of Duty should be on air, Series 5, early in 2019. So, Bodyguard uh, was made by World Productions for the BBC. Would you be tempted 
to go for the uh, big deep pockets of Netflix next time? Well, currently we're just opening a conversation with the BBC about whether we will do a second series, and that's the only conversation that is taking place at the moment. And, and uh, we're very grateful for the support that we've had from the BBC all through the process. So I'm, I'm optimistic that we'll be able to move forward with the BBC if there is a second series. Where will you be on Sunday night at 9 o'clock? Uh, I'll be at home. I'll be watching it with the family and um, looking forward to their reactions. And uh, no doubt they will, they will um, give me um, their responses in the normal frank way that they do. <laughs> Jim Akira, thanks so much. Thank you.